after the conference in Utah, we have six days left for our trip in the U.S. We still have a lot of places that we wanted to visit, and the next destination was the Zion National Park. The scenery kept getting better and better as we got closer. Is it hard to describe how beautiful this was? We arrived at Cedar City in the afternoon and checked into KOA, and then we took advantage of the rest of the day to visit the Colob Canyons. To be honest, this is the place that I like most because the scenery is spectacular, although it's not really popular to many people. When we got here, it was very empty. We took a short hike and had to go back early before it got too dark. came back to KOA and set up our tent. The process is now getting faster. We cook and had dinner and enjoy the rest of the day at this campground. Because our time is a little bit tight, we didn't spend much time at its place. The next morning, we wanted to visit Zion National Park a little bit and go straight to Las Vegas. Here again, we enjoy the fascinating views of nature. This is a perfect place for people who love hiking, but luckily, we didn't have time to explore it. This is also the first time we have the experience going through the longest tunnel at Zion National Park. It took us 4 hours to get to Las Vegas. Right now, I still remember exactly the roads we took from Zion National Park to Las Vegas. It was very desert-like and empty. Someone told me that if you want to know how rich America is, come and visit Las Vegas. And I didn't believe that till I got there. Las Vegas is the home to the most interesting and unique hotel in the world. We walked the strip and explored the hotels. Parking is free at all of the hotels. And in our experience, buffets are not worth it. Although Las Vegas is famous for all you can eat buffets, they are very expensive and the foods are decent and you have to get in a very long line to get inside unless you gamble a lot last but not least people don't care how you dress so wear comfy clothes and shoes and have a bottle of water especially in the summer as long as you have money you can enjoy life as much as you like in Las Vegas Las Vegas, it took us 4 hours to get to Grand Canyon, and this time, we didn't camp at K08, but at a national park camp route. New place, new experiences, and now we love camping more and more. Our most memorable moment was sitting together at the campfire, rotten corn, and laughing a lot that night.
next morning to be able to get to the shuttle bus in time to visit the Rand Canyon. The bus stops at Lookout Point, and you can get up to explore. After many canyons that we have been to, we finally arrived at Grand Canyon. I can tell you exactly how amazing and spectacular it was. There are a lot of chances for hiking here, and you can take a long hike or short hike. One thing to remember is, for each step you take down, it's two to get back up. Don't forget to visit the visitor center to get the best advice of where and when to go to start your hike and what a film about the canyon. Before getting back to Utah, our final destination was Bright Canyon. One more time, we came at a KOA. This is our second favorite location so far. Coil operated laundry and shower facilities are always available. Bright Canyon is a natural wonder and also one of my favorite national parks because this canyon is different from everyday canyon. We stop at Inspiration Pond. The view is filled with pointy colorful hoodoos. Don't forget to carry hat, sunscreen, sunglasses, and a lot of water with you. States, five national parks, four canyons, 4,000 kilometers, and one happy couple. We really had an unbelievable experience in the U.S. Sitting in the plane, in our hearts, we still remember the many days of camping, grand, hot sun, different sights and sounds that we experienced together.